Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today I am going to review Miss Universe 2008 giving my full review and commentaries from start to finish of the entire competition. So let's begin. Miss Universe 2008 was, el was held in Nha Trang Convention Center in Vietnam. I just love the staging in Vietnam. It really highlights the culture of Vietnam on stage. And this is actually one of the reasons why I really love Asian countries to hold beauty pageants, especially Miss Universe, because they're really going all out when it comes to staging and everything. 80 ladies competed this year and the hosts were Mel B and Jerry Springer and they are a huge upgrade than last year's Vanessa Minillo and Mario Lopez. They are both entertaining to watch and funny as well. The introduction started with the ladies introducing themselves, wearing the national costumes. My top three favorite national costumes that year were third place, Mexico's Elisa Nahara, second place, Venezuela's Diana Mendoza, and my favorite national costume is Korea's Sun Lee. Now let's proceed to the top 15 announcement. Here are the ladies whom I considered as front runners or heavy favorites and whose placements were already expected. Venezuela, Diana Mendoza, Kosovo, Zana Krasnici, Mexico, Elisa Nahara, Australia, Laura Dondovic, Dominican Republic, Marian Cruz Gonzalez, Colombia, Taliana Vargas, Russia, Vera Krasova, USA, Crystal Stewart, and Spain, Claudia Moro. And also, here are the ladies who are just okay to me, but I am happy that they placed. South Africa, Tansy Katsi, and Italy, Claudia Ferraris. Well, these are the placements that shocked me because I did not expect them to place at all. Vietnam, Lang Thoi Nguyen, Japan, Hiroko Mima, Hungary, Jasmine Damak, and Czech Republic, Eliska Buchkova. And now, for my if only she was there moment, here are the ladies whom I think deserves to get a placement in the top 15. And I have two of them. Panama's Carolina de Mentiev and Puerto Rico's Ingrid Rivera. I would actually prefer to see both of them in the top 15 in replacement for Hungary's Jasmine Damak and Japan's Hiroko Mima. It would have been a stronger top 15. Now let's proceed to the swimsuit competition. First of all, Lady Gaga. I loved her. And who wouldn't love those amazing backdrop during the swimsuit round? Love those bamboos and falling water as effect. Plus, I really love the long runway as well as it tests the consistency of the contestant's walk. Now let's go to the best performances. Venezuela, she was my predicted winner this year. When she came out, I was screaming because I was very proud. Her performance was out of this world. It was like Victoria's Secret meets Miss Universe. Her performance still remains as one of the strongest in history. And before we proceed, fun fact. I actually chose watching Miss Universe 2008 rather than taking my psychology exam when I was in college. But I don't care at all. I choose Miss Universe. Now let's continue. Mexico, wow. Her body is just so fit. Love those curves and her beauty and performance is also one of the strongest that year. Dominican Republic loved her height, loved her walk, loved her body, and it was equipped with a very, very strong performance. Italy is a really, really good surprise. I really loved her face and I think her score was a little bit too low because her performance was a bit better than 7.6. Colombia. This is a swimsuit performance that deserves to be remembered as one of the strongest performances in history. The walk, the face, the body, the personality, everything just ticked the check marks. I was even nervous at this time because she might destroy my prediction, although she was in my top five. USA, one of the strongest Miss USA's that walked the Miss Universe stage. Great body and I also love her skin color. For this round, my winner was Colombia, followed by Venezuela and then Mexico third place. For the top 10 announcement, the top 10 finalists this year were 
Kosovo, Australia, Spain, Mexico, Colombia, USA, Dominican Republic, Russia, Italy, and Venezuela. And goodness, I have no one to replace in the top 10. This is a very, very solid group. And those ladies that were eliminated were just fillers in the top 15. So I have no if only she was there moment at this at this part because again solid top 10 let's proceed to the evening gown competition another great staging by vietnam i love the song magic by robin thick because it's perfect for this round plus the backdrop wow made me speechless now for the performances kosovo I am so proud of her because this is their first time competing and she made it all the way to the top 10. I am not a big fan of her gown though. Australia, she's got a very very beautiful face but that performance didn't left any wow moment plus her gown is very very dull. Spain, I just love how she gives drama to her performance. Also, I loved her dramatic poses but that gown doesn't work for me mexico i am really in love with her love the unique style of the dress i just love the intricate design on the sheer fabric and the way she throws the bottom part of the dress that's a performer colombia at first glance i was like what the hell is she wearing but she's the perfect representation of it's not what you wear but it's how you wear it she carried the dress like no one else can they loved her beauty, loved the confidence, and it is by far the most iconic and one of the best evening gown performances in history. USA. I cannot believe USA slipped again. But during the entire performance, I was still very, very positive that she will do well because she looked amazing in that gown. But after seeing the score, I was really, really shocked. She don't deserve to get a score that low. Dominican Republic, wow. I am, I am always fascinated by sheer dress, especially if it's well-designed like hers. Love those mirror effects in the gown. Russia. This reminds me of Oksana Fedorova, just a simple white dress, just carry them beautifully and then you're on your way. But of course, Oksana is miles better. Italy, I feel disappointed because I have loved her, but that dress is a big N-O-No. -no. Venezuela, another woman who made a simple gown look magical. It was just a simple yellow dress, but the way she carried it, phenomenal, memorable. And that turn just took my breath away. That is just a picturesque moment for her. And my winner for this round is still Colombia, followed by Venezuela, and then Mexico. This was the year where I thought this competition was a three-way race between those three candidates. When the top five announcements were announced, these finalists were Colombia, Venezuela, Dominican Republic, Mexico, and Russia. I think Russia is deserving in the top five, but if USA didn't slip and enters the top five, it would have been the strongest top five in Miss Universe history. I just feel sad for USA because she was so strong and so deserving to be in that top five. Final question. Colombia was asked what would she change in her past if she could go back in time. I feel bad for Colombia because she seems like she forgot that there's a time limit. Plus, she stumbled a couple of times, but still, overall, it was a decent response. Venezuela was asked on who have it easier in life, men or women. I am really glad of her answer. Her analogy was just amazing. Plus her delivery, it was just perfect. Love the personality and I felt positive that time that she could still win and make my prediction right. Dominican Republic was asked about the biggest sacrifice she made. It was a very, very sweet and emotional answer. I feel for her, but pageant-wise, it was a little bit boring. But I appreciate the honesty. Mexico was asked, when is a woman truly satisfied? I think her answer was outstanding. It was a really, really good response. Russia was asked if there's still discrimination against women. Another sweet and smart answer. But then again, I just wish the delivery was a little bit better. Consider And considering all factors, if I have to decide the result, here's how I wanted it to be. Fourth runner-up, Russia. 
Third one rap is Dominican Republic. Second one rap is Mexico. My first one rap is Colombia. And my Miss Universe is Venezuela. If I have to decide. When it comes to the official result, when Mexico was announced as fourth one rap, I just couldn't believe it. It's like I want to throw everything that I have in front. I was so mad because she doesn't deserve that last placement in the top five. She deserves much higher. Third runner-up was Russia. Second runner-up was Dominican Republic. And seeing Colombia and Venezuela as the final two is one of the most unforgettable moments because we are definitely, at that time, we are just looking at one of the strongest final two in history both of them competed very strongly and gave a very strong performance from start until the end of the competition and i just feel bad though because both of them deserves a crown it's just so sad to see them compete at the same year but i was so so happy when venezuela won because prediction wise i predicted her to win but again it wasn't an easy win because colombia gave her a very tough competition and i just love the 2008 competition because the winner was great the runner-up was with almost everyone did a very great job and i have to commend it because 2008 was actually one of my favorite editions overall and i'm so so happy for the victory of diana mendoza she really deserves to take home the venezuelan title after 12 years so that's it that's my review and commentaries for miss universe 2008 what do you think don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up as well and share the video and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future so for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines